Today we're going to be looking at the idea of the highest common factor. Now, this is abbreviated often to HCF. Let's have a look at an example and we'll explain what we're doing through the example. If we're looking for the highest common factor of 8 and 12, let's start off by saying what are all the factors of 8? Now remember how we found all the factors. We just start with 1 and then go to 2, 3, 4 and we check if those are factors and we write them down with all their partners. So 1 is a factor of course and it comes with its partner factor 8. We then go to 2, we ask does 2 go into 8? Yes it does and it comes with its partner factor 4. We then try 3, is 3 a factor of 8? No, it isn't. Uh, so we go to the next one. Is 4 a factor? Oh, hang on a moment. We've already got 4, so we know we've completed. So our factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Let's do exactly the same for 12. Is 1 a factor? Of course it is. And it has a partner factor of 12. We then go to our next number, 2. Is that a factor? Yes, it is. And it comes with its partner factor of 6. We then go to the next number, 3. Is that a factor? Yes, it is. And it comes with its partner factor of 4. Then we go to R, our next number, 4, which we've already got. So we know we have completed everything. So we've got all our factors of 12, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now what we're asking ourselves is for the, if we have a look at what we're looking for, we're looking for the common factors. Now remember, common means if, some, if you've got something in common, you've got something the same. So we're looking for factors of 8 and of 12 that are the same. So if we have a look, we can see that the factors that are the same in both, they've both got a 1, they've both got a 2, don't both have a 3, they do both have a 4, nope, there's no 8 in, there's no 8 down here, and there's no 6 or 12 up here, so the only common factors are 1, 2, 4. But we weren't just asked for a common factor, we were asked for the highest common factor. In other words, the biggest one of these. Well, that's very easy. Which of these is the biggest? The answer is obviously 4. And so our question is answered for us. The highest common factor of 8 and 12 is 4. This means that 4 is the biggest number we'll find that will divide into 8 and will also divide into 12 with no remainder. Let's try another example. Let's look at the highest common factor of 14 and 25, which we can abbreviate like this. I'm asking for the highest common factor of 14 and 25. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and write out all the factors of 14, all the factors of 25, see which what they have in common, and then see which is the biggest. Pause the video now and do that. Okay, so hopefully you got that there was 1 and a 14, 2 and its partner of 7, 3, no partner, no, I mean, 3 doesn't go in, 4 doesn't go in, 5 doesn't go in, 6 doesn't go in, 7, ah, we're repeating, so we've got all our factors of 14, 1, 2, 7, and 14. 25, well, 1 and 25, 2 doesn't go in, 3 doesn't go in, 4 doesn't go in, 5 does go in, and its partner is 
five. So we're already repeating. So we've got all the factors, one, five, and 25. Now what we need to do is have a look at what they have in common. Well, the only number that's in both those lists is one. And then we need to choose the highest of those common factors. Well, there is only one common factor, and that is one. So the highest common factor is one. OK, so what if we wanted to find the highest common factor of 6 and 24? Well, 6 has got its factors of 1 and 6. Then we try the next one. 2 comes with its partner of 3. And then our next number is 3, which we've already got. So we've got all our factors. And 24, well, it's 1 with its partner of 24. Then 2 does go in, and it's got its partner factor of 12. 3 goes in with its partner factor of 8. 4 goes in with its partner factor of 6. 5 doesn't go in, and 6 goes in. But now we're back to where we started. Then we want to look at what are the common factors. Well, they both have a 1, they both have a 2, they both have a 3, they both have a 6. And the highest of those will then be, obviously, the 6. And we can see that actually we could have been a bit quicker about this. Just noticing that 6 divides into 24 will tell us that the highest common factor of 6 and 24 will be 6. OK, before we finish, let's just quickly uh, note one word. Some people, instead of talking about the highest common factor, talk about the greatest common factor. In other words, instead of using the word highest, they choose to use the word greatest. But highest, greatest, biggest, it all means the same thing. So if someone asks you for the greatest common factor, it's exactly the same thing as if they're asking you for the highest common factor. So don't be put off if you just hear a different word. Highest common factor, greatest common factor are exactly the same thing.